In this video, we are going to uh, continue working on SpongeBob. We're getting really close to wrapping this assignment up, so we should be excited about that. Uh, we've learned how to, uh, pretty much how to scale to size or make models to size. So uh, the next piece here is we're going to push pull the mouth back, and we're going to make the teeth uh, in this video. So uh, coming in right away, going into our um, blueprint, the teeth are five millimeters back, and then the mouth is 20 millimeters back. So um, coming in right away, I'm going to go to my push-pull tool. And remember, whenever I'm using this tool, I like to be in my ISO view. So click the lower right-hand ISO view. I'm going to select the mouth, and I'm just going to drop down. And if you see I'm inside there, it does that. Or if I go on the edge, it should do the same thing and hit 20. All right. Now, um, I have my mouth made. It's kind of hard to see with everything being the same color, but if you orbit around, you can kind of see that edge that we've made. That's deeper. All right. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm kind of just going to orbit, so I'm sitting over top of my piece, uh, but I'm going to be angled a little bit so I can see this bottom edge of the mouth, or the top edge of the mouth, uh, back in front. Now, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start making some uh, guidelines where this is going to end up being uh, as far as um, the teeth that we're doing next. And that is, first thing I'm going to do is delete my middle guideline I have here on top. I'm going to actually redo that, but it's going to be in a different spot. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is use a tape measure tool. I'm going to select my edge over here, and I'm going to come right to this middle back blue, which is in the bottom surface, all right? And I'm going to select that line I just made and go five millimeters to the right-hand side and also five millimeters to the left-hand side. I got a guideline there instead, so make sure you click with the claw carefully. Instead of getting a point, you get a line that way. And then once again, five to the edge. Now I have a 10 millimeter gap spacing. The next thing I'm going to do is add another line to the outside there, 20 millimeters, which is the width of the tooth. And then that'll be in the same thing, or repeating on the other side. And then from the top going down, we want to go 30 millimeters. All right. Uh, once again, it's really important that we angle our, our camera so we can see this back edge, because if you do this on top, you can end up making these in, in a different space where it doesn't always work that well. It ends up being sitting kind of diagonal when you're using your uh, next tool, the rectangle tool, to make these. So. Once again, now the next thing we're doing is hitting the letter R, which is the rectangle tool. We're going to select our intersection, slide across and go to the other intersection, leaving the gap, other intersection back to the opposite intersection. And now we have our two teeth, left two, push, pull back up. So it said five millimeters back, we went 20, so our difference there is five, so we have 15 millimeters to come forward. So. Going to the ISO view is probably easier for this, just so we know where we're going. Select, sliding up, five, oh sorry, one five. All right, I gotta delete a few things here. 15 is the answer. And same thing over here, one five, enter. We have our SpongeBob basically modeled. Uh, we're gonna do some more things like uh, do some um, dimension pulling and cleaning out some lines in the next video and also painting Spongebob. Um, with that being said, uh, I hope you were successful and I hope this helped. Have a good day.